I believe the first class appearances will definitely help him. Absolutely, we've been talking about the importance of first class cricket and players giving importance to it. We have a lot to talk about it. But at the moment, Mohamed Ali is ready to deliver his first ball. On target. This is where you want your ballers to be early on, Saman. Yes, they've been on target. They've been within the stumps. And one thing that I've noticed in the seven balls which have been bowled so far is that this pitch seems a bit slower than the previous one because we saw a lot of balls carry really well in the previous game. They went above waist high to the keepers. But today what we have seen is the pitch a bit on the slower side. We have seen the ball bounce before the keeper as well. And although maybe they are just warming up, there we see. And another apparent difference is the cracks are much more visible on this pitch. This one is left alone by Imran, but he definitely would be more careful. Last time he just happened to become the coach while he was batting, gave a lot, very decent practice to the slip catchers. And he must have thought, what have I done? Because he was looking good. And uh, so, similar to the to the shape we had the last game, it was similar in shape. There was no grass, but cracks. You said are they different? Yeah, it's much more evident. They are very visible. In the previous uh, game, the cracks were not that visible. That shows that the pitch was much more compact. fielder this time on square leg was much more quicker and was alert and that's the way they should be because if the ball is doing a bit you don't want the batters to get off strike that easily interesting changes made Loha Blues will talk about them more because we thought that they were a batter shot in the last game. And they've added two batters today. Ipta Samulak making his list A debut alongside Umar Siddiq also coming in. That has strengthened the batting lineup. Good Yorker, good Yorker. This is a good start from Muhammad Ali. Yes, the bowlers are looking to take wickets and that's a very good sign for the bowling side and that is why you win the toss and you opt to bowl because you look to take wickets and this was delivery certainly was dangerous ball well negotiated by Imran Bhatt always involved very good colors he likes bright colors absolutely and it, they look good on them he carries them well too yeah. beautifully driven but not quite timing it Imran Bhatt not quite finding the gap also. It's a good matchup between two sides. We see Faisalabad. Good leave. But can be a blessing in disguise. We'll come back to it later. Three for none, Lahore Blues at the end of two overs. Law Blues camp, Kashi Bhatti, Ali Shafiq, both not included in the side. Good to see Mr. Zedi sitting there in the dugout, the manager, always very elegant, very choosy with the clothes that he puts on. And he likes when he's appreciated for his clothes. And why not? He does a great job at the selection. Nicely clipped. This time he has found the gap. Beautifully timed and placed Imran, but might not have the legs. It has. First boundary of the game going to Imran, but beautifully placed. Straying on the legs this time, and Imran, but not missing. Well timed. They were in it. Then the ball won the race. And this is something that the bowlers need to avoid not to stray on the legs. You are bowling first, you have to be in the right channels.
Shajil Khan scored a century against this bowling lineup in the last game, playing for Multan. Six sixes he hit. So that thing definitely will be in the mind of Faisalabad bowlers. This is a different batting of batting pair, Imran Bhatt and Hashim Ibrahim, both more technically correct, both take take their time. But definitely that thing will be in their mind, be getting a beat, beating from Shajil Khan. Well, Hashim is somebody who likes to play very freely and at times more freely than what is required. And so freely that he set the bat free. <laughs> well, he just needs to spend time. He's such a talented boy. He's so fit, so eager to do well, and he has done well this season. He's, he made his debut in the first class side, scored 100, scored a couple of 50s, but each and every time he brought upon his own demise. I haven't seen a bowler get him out till now. Absolutely correct. If you look at his stance also, his intent, he looks set for to score runs, to score a big one. He's all set, he's ready to score big runs. But yes, as you said, sometimes he just got carried away and lost his wicket. I like the look of him. He looks very fit and very rarely do you see a Pakistan player with the sleeves as fit as his. And that's a good sign. You need players to look like David Miller. Talking of the game, power hitting, you need power in your head. So you need to have power in your arms to get it into your strokes. The last delivery nipping back in, cutting in. We saw the similar couple of deliveries in the first game by Hussain Talat when he got that big wicket. We are in that time in the subcontinent when the ball does start to move around. We are also watching the World Cup where bowlers early morning and in the evening spells are getting a lot of movement. And the same is happening here as well. This one was not intended to be played here inside edging it and will be an easy two so played by a batsman from gic and fielded by a fielder from the gic as well 10 for none after three Yeah, top right, you're talking about Mr. Ezra Zaidi. Very vibrant, always involved, very good colors. He likes bright colors. Absolutely. And it, they look good on him. He carries them well, too. Yeah. With him are Honan Shah and Salman Ashad, the two very skillful fast bowlers, and the ones who Lahore Blues will be relying on later to defend whatever they get. Yeah, this is good captaincy by Fahim Ashraf, keeping the slips in. Two slips still in place. He believes there is still is movement. Going down a bit high also. Muhammad Ali has been within the stumps most of the time. And here we see this one coming back in and just a bit high. We could see the leg stump as the batter tries to play this one. So obviously not going down the leg, but definitely going above the bales. And rightly so, umpire Aleem Dar, the very experienced, legendary umpire, gives the decision in the favor of the batter. Beautiful. That is beautiful from Muhammad Ali. Just kicking on, some extra bounce this time. And that's absolutely correct from Imran Bhatt as well. Playing the in-swing, playing it closer to his body, keeping the bat very close to his body is the key. Just thought about for a moment to play the ball and then just brought his bat back. Quick enough making this decision. And he has to be like that, especially for too many bad strokes played in the last game. Again. 
beautifully bowled. Outside the off stump, he's inviting Imran Bhatt to go for the drive. And that is the quality Muhammad Ali has. He will keep poking at you. He will keep bowling you in those areas. It's a good bowling. Real full bowler he is. Look at that. Tailing in. Just touch of outswing. Yes, and squaring up Imran Bhatt. This ball, definitely good areas, good line, good length. Imran to keep his bat really close to his body. Once again, pace, bounce, swing, brilliant. Muhammad Ali, absolutely brilliant this delivery. A Jaffa, and again Imran Bhatt, full marks, keeping the bat close to his body. Is the key over here? Yeah, this is majestic from Muhammad Ali. Third in a row, same area, same sort of deliveries. Wonderful to see. This is exciting stuff from a test fast bowler Muhammad Ali. The extra bounce also. Well, that's good cricket from the batter, from the bowler, and also the keeper who took it way above his head high. Now says Hashim Ibrahim, and rightly so. Because Ali Asfun was very quick to the ball. It's sort of a pitch and conditions where you need a technically skillful batter. A batter for the long format is required in these conditions where you can take your time, where you can get your eye in. Like Imran Bhatt is playing, as you were mentioning, keeping the bat close to his body, leaving anything outside. That is the skill you need on these conditions and on a pitch like this. But for how long will he survive like that? That's the question. Well, he has to keep going for himself, for his side. <coughs> Maiden, wonderful over from Muhammad Ali. Spot on. Four go on, ten for none. Ali going back to his fielding after bowling a terrific over. He was all over him run, but in this over, there we see this one, the first one, hitting him, beaten on the second one. Absolute carbon copies, the next three deliveries, and this one just took off. And then we saw some variation in the bounce when he bowled the last delivery. This one was a single refused, and there is this one which stayed low, so pitch at times. Beautifully driven, but again, no timing from Hashim Ibrahim. But it's important that you keep on rotating the strike. It's important to learn at this stage, at this age, that Hashim Ibrahim is the importance, the importance of rotating the strike against quality fast bowlers, Khuram and Muhammad Ali, from both operating from both ends, been marvelous, been fabulous with their line and lengths. And that is what you expect.